can be used? I believe there is, yeah. Because yeah. Um, I use adaptive technology on my computer to do mm -hmm. my assessments. I'm just wondering whether there's like technology for ones that do have hearing loss and low vision. Yeah, yeah, I do believe that is that I do believe there's stuff out there that could be used in that situation. Yeah. So <clears throat> with the limited communication, because I had this question the other day. Okay. Um, so you, you refer them to someone else that's like you don't do it like refer them to like an English class or something like that. No, no, no. Um, in, in the context of limited communication skills, we're thinking from there, not so much the cultural aspect of development. Yeah, developmental. So if there is like, you know, they need a hearing aid and vision impaired, that we wouldn't consider that a limited communication skill. Um, because for all we know, if they didn't have those conditions, they'll be able to communicate effectively. Mm. It, there's just um, a different level of ability to communicate, not really a limit as such. So how you, how you talk to a child, mm. or how you talk to an adult, with a brain injury, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the case of like a brain injury, that's something probably would be best referred to a specialist. But if, if it was the case of like a hearing impairment, we could seek a, like the adaptive technology to assist in the communication process. But if it is a case of like you're dealing with somebody who's only got the ability to talk to a child, uh, sorry, talk at the same level as a child, it would be best to refer them to. It is better to refer. Yeah, them. it would be best to refer them to a specialist because. So I did both. I said refer to mm. someone else as well as maybe refer to. Mm. Like well, from a cultural them. from a cultural standpoint, that might be something that you could do is actually refer them to, um, uh, like a literacy skills. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, yes. Cultural differences. So. Once again, important, we need to know what's appropriate in the culture, what's not appropriate in the culture. So, 10 billion examples can come to mind here. Mm -hmm. um, so, we need to understand how these cultural differences in relation mm -hmm. to their social cognition can impact everything. Um, and a lack of emotional resilience, which kind of tied in with this one here, where I said, you know, if you challenge a client who's shown adolescent egocentrism, and they kind of have a go at you back because of it. Similar to what we see with lack of emotional resilience, they don't have the ability to, you know, take a hit and then just get themselves back up and said they'll go have a, well, if we look at it from the case of children, if one kid says something nasty or another, that kid will cry and it'll take them a while to get back get to the state. Yeah. yeah, so having a lack of emotional <clears throat> resilience can cause impacts to the session and it, we need to know at what le level they are so we can account for this. Mm -hmm. Right, um, that wraps it up. Any f questions? I'll be here for a while, so yeah. yeah Thanks where's, where's, Thank where's, you very much. Where's the, the, the next piece of paper you said? Wasn't it? After the, we've got the rubric. Yeah. Um, so you should have the rubric, you should have the spectrum itself. There's a little flyer. Did you get the... So this one, this one is the measurement. Is that right? So yeah, that's the rubric. That's the rubric oh, here it is. and that's yeah. it there. So ah, mm. sorry. That was so good. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I've been working on this for about two years, writing it. Four years worth of observation. And um, only just starting to get it ready to go um, for submission to a research journal. You've done well, mate. You've done well. Yeah, also taking that four years to write that. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> So how did you how did you um, identify people that were at a societal level? Of yeah, like cognition? how did you know? Oh, <laughs> it was kind of a case of, like throughout four oh, years, yep. very few people I identified were actually hitting. What was your criteria?